These commandments that I give you today are to be upon your heart. Impress them on your children. Talk about them when you sit at home and when you walk along the road when you lie down and when you get up. Or bottom signal my days. Tie them as symbols on your hands. And find them on your forehead. Write them on the door frame of your houses and on your gates. We know what we do. We know how they worship and uh, according to their religion. And before you, you go into their house, uh, at the side of their door, they have written this scripture. The commandment of God is clear that His word should be done at home. In anything that happens at home, must show the relationship of the parents that they have with God. This is a total commitment. A commitment that God gave to parents so that the things that they learn, the behavior they learn when they are still young, when they grow up, they won't um, get away from it. And so this is why as Christians, we should understand that the church is not made of isolated people, but as a church. And when we read in scripture, um, love the God, love your God with all your heart, and to all your soul, and with all your mind, because this is the greatest commandment, even the second uh, greatest commandment, love your neighbor and yourself. So to love God with your whole being, you should also love others these two commandments are the source of the rest of the commandments and the source of the law and the prophets. One can ask but there are many people who are Christians but they love God and they do anything for their children and, their children, and this is true but the excuse excuse doesn't matter for us because if we know who God is through Jesus Christ what he did for our life it's not the good behavior the good deeds that are valid in front of God but but the relationship we have with the Father. It is that same relationship that is personal. That each father and each mother 